Shazibi. Shazubi. Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. I had to. I don't know why. I don't know why I came up with that. I just had to. Yo, yo, YouTubers. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm saying that three times fast. Last time we talked with Luigi, he heard his story. Cockamamie as it is. And... And we collected a few more things now that we could with Bobbery and and Boat Mode. In this episode, we're going to take on the Trouble Center, but we got a lot of moolah here. I'm going to check with you one more time see if you got that W Emblem badge. No. We got Mega Rush and Hammer Man, but that's not quite what I want. I guess I'll check back with you later. But first, I'm going to want to get rid of some items. Some of these I won't need, and some, well, just aren't worth it. Okay, so the Ruin Powder I'm not going to use. Mm. You know, I don't think I'm going to use the Boo Sheet either, so get rid of that too. Means how I'm going to store some, some of the rest as well. Store the Thunder Rage. And the whack a -bump. That should be good. Anyway, we upgraded, upgraded Flurry to the maximum level. Now she has a move Dodgy Fog. I don't quite remember how it works, but we'll know soon enough. Or sooner or later, I forget. Or I don't know. Or I'm just babbling. Anyway, Dodgy Fog makes it so that, um... Well, enemies will miss Mario, pretty much. It's an okay move. I guess. In any case, we only got two troubles today. So we'll start with Eve. Tell that person. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it at my house in Twilight Town. Well, let's go see if we can talk to Eve. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet Wally. You never know. See you guys there. So all the way here in Twilight Town, we will find Roxas. No, 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 I'm kidding. We want to go in here. This woman right here, this is Eve. <laughs> I think. Oh, Mario, you've accepted my trouble request? Well, it's hard to talk about in front of the children. Can we step outside? Hmm. What do you know? Well, who's there they won't eavesdrop? Get it? Eavesdrop? <laughs> wow. How did I not think of that before? Anyway, I need you to help me to, to meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. We had the same dream, to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. But when we finally got a part in a brunch room play as a leading lady, Podley left me. He left a... He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Podley, why? My dream was, was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while I was in rehearsal. I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now, I had forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Podley, that Podley was running a Chocola shop in Rogueport. Could you please lend him the... Could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that, that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten his, her first love. Yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Podley and, not, and ask how he feels about me. Please, Mario? Well, we'd better. So, now we gotta go back to Rogueport. Now you remember this guy, right? 
from before Chapter 5. Vivian, what are you doing up there? Right, this game's so glitchy sometimes. Welcome to Podley's place, in the section of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say, huh? What is it, Mario? Tell me. You look so serious. What? Eve? I know no such person. But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something? Tell her, live in the moment. And that is all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. Yeah, busy, busy drawing off that same damn glass. Yep, he remembers her all right. He just doesn't want to admit it. Well, let's tell Eve the bad news. Excuse me! That wasn't the bad news I meant. Have you met with Podley? Really? What did he say? Well, we gotta tell her the truth. We can't hold this from her. So Podley has forgotten about me. That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from, from this tea shop. Mario, you have one too. We got a meteor meal! Reveals 7 H HP and re gradually recovers even more. I never really used it, to be honest. But... Yeah, apparently she was crying. Poor girl. Is it put in the recipe book? I doubt it. Nope, it isn't. And yep, I didn't. I did make a jelly ultra, ultra off screen. Gotta mix an ultra shroom with a jam and jelly to make this. It feels 50 HP and FP. Probably one of the best healing items in the game. Just like in the first game, really. Even though I was kind of mistaken with that with that one lollipop at the end of the um, at the end of that project. In any case, on to the second trouble, or rather, on to the next trouble. I'm pretty happy living out here on Keel All Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm in the storage room, deep in the cave on Keel Hall Keep. Don't stick on Goom Goom's trouble. Goom Goom, Hakalaka Goom Goom, Goom Goom, Hakalaka Goom Goom, Goom Goom, Hakalaka Goom Goom, Goom Goom, Hakalaka Goom Goom. I don't know, I just had a Mario movie moment. Wow. Mario movie moment. Try saying that a hundred times fast. There's the Keel Mango. I guess it's after the chapter's done. Okay, here we are. Now with Goombella in front, in front, yeah, outside in your party. And yeah, thanks for taking on my trouble. All the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life. But now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There's no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need you to do is introduce me to a nice girl. That's it, a girl, okay? I guess my type would be petite, younger than me, uh -uh, and pretty, not drop dead hot. All right, that works. Yeah, a cute little Goomba gal would be just perfect. Please help me, please. Well, sin well, just bring Goombella out if you haven't already, and here comes the awkwardness. Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute girl for... Whoa! Yeah, wow, yo! She's cute, really cute, man, and that ponytail, man! Perfect slam dunk, man! Yes, slam dunk! This, 
This may be a bit soon, but I have to confess my love to this girl. Er, uh, hi. Do you believe in love, and fir love at first sight, Angel? Because, you know, I do, and... What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. Well, he spat it out. I think I have loved you since before I was born. Please, go, go out with me. This is awkward. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I am... Um, I'm going out with Mario. Honest. I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. What? What? You have a boyfriend? Man! I've had enough of this. Hmm. Please! I probably butchered that last part. Well, you kinda did, Goombella. You did do something brutal. He's all for trouble. In return, we get a couple's cake. Food that slowly refills HP, and you can't eat it alone. So I think that means both you and your partner can use this. I'm gonna lose this earthquake we picked up, because I really don't need it. And, wow. If I really wanted it, I, don't, I can't get it now, because it's sunk. But yeah, an awkward romance moment befitting the Three Stooges, no? Niagara Falls! Well, that trouble's done. I think we got just a good enough amount of time to take care of some story progression, so I'll see you guys back at the Thousand Year Door. Man. Dig that crazy talk, man. Crazy. I'm crazy. Well, he still doesn't have the W Emblem badge, but he does have this. This is double pain. This will double the damage Mario takes. Why the hell they came up with this badge, I have absolutely no clue. Who is the idiot that came up with these badges anyway? Well, in any case, we got a lot of time to spare, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go through all of the story progression in this episode. Maybe a little bit, maybe not, but we will just have to wait and see. <clears throat> Meanwhile... There's definitely something I want to talk about, and that's about Pokemon X and Y. When it was first announced, I admit, I was actually not that much looking forward to it. Yeah, surprise, surprise, I wasn't looking that forward to it at all. No joke. Thing is, well, I'm sure some can agree with me, some probably won't. I think it just came out way too soon. Nintendo probably should have waited a little bit longer before before bringing it out. I mean, didn't we, like, just get, um, Black 2 and White 2 before this? Pretty sure we did. But, in any case... Sorry about that. In any case, personally... Well, like I said, when I first heard about it, I wasn't looking forward to it. And then... And then came this whole, um, well, then, the, then there was Mewtwo, his quote-unquote alternate form, some called it. Some even called it Mew 3. Well, I admit, that, that actually seemed kind of cool. It might have been enough to have me want to get the game, but not entirely sure. In any situation, we level up again. Um, really? Well, then it turns out this whole mega evolution thing. Now this whole, now it just gets ridiculous. I think that I think this whole mega evolution thing, bleh. It's not really it's not really anything special. I really don't care for it. So really, this whole mega evolution thing it's making me want to it's making me less and less anxious for the new game. True story. So, yeah. You guys can tell me your opinions on, on new um, 
on the Mega Evolutions and or X and Y, if you wish. But personally, I'm just not gonna care for it. Nor do I care for it. Just not really worth my interest. Or rather, well, maybe not worth my interest, but it's just not... It's not interesting to me. That's all there is to it. Now, truth be told, this upcoming chapter, this chapter coming up, is my favorite. Yep, legitimately, it is. You'll see, you'll see when we get to it, but for right now, let's just get rid of these guys. And he's up to something. Well, I get it. When he hides in his shell, he increases defense. I forgot about that. Forgot all about that, I mean. Okay, buddy boy, you want to fight? Bring it. I was going to go for first strike, but of course, he dodged it. Oh, he dodged. I ask you, what? Vivian, what the hell are you doing? Matter of fact, am I midair? Yep, I was. No wonder she was spazzing out. Or something. Gosh, that was freak. So, let's figure this out. Here goes. Shazam! The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. I gotta slow down some of the, one of these days. All set? Then let's go see Professor Frankly. Oh, yeah. Great news, my friends! The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. Hang on, haven't I heard that lots of rich and famous people call that place home? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's a, also a shrine to the, to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Poshley Heights, huh? Okay, how do we get there? That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express. Yes, after a, luxu a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been, been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Will they let us on board? I heard you have to be a rich or fa you have to be rich or famous to get a seat. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps we should ask Don Pianta for help with this too. Are you kidding? Everyone says he's an awful man. Doesn't he extort people? What is that word? Extort? I've never heard of that one. Well, I guess we don't have much choice now, do we? Let's do this quickly. Agreed. Excellent. We're, then we're set. We might not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. And yep, there's nothing in the trash can. I haven't missed anything. So, the Excess Express, huh? Interesting. 
So yes, that is why this is, this next chapter is going to be my favorite. Going, going on a train ride. Something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be on, be on, a, on something like a pleasure cruise on a big train. So, we'll talk with Don Pianta next time, YouTubers. Next time, we will t we will see if we can get, get our way to the... Um... Finally, you have it! Anyway, we'll see if we can talk to Don Pianta about getting a ticket. And all that sort of ride. So, until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave. And next time, you shall see Mario's new duds with the W Emblem badge. See you guys then. And thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm a warrior. I'm a gonna win. Here I go. <laughs>